Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I think I have an interesting one for you today, and you may have bumped into it if you're cruising around YouTube. I know realtors have. We've seen this. You probably haven't if you're not in the industry, but there's a guy. His name is Sitzer, last name. He was the one that brought the lawsuits, the class action lawsuits, Sitzer and Burnett, against the National Association of Realtors, saying he was coerced into paying a 3% buyer broker fee. So he brought this big lawsuit. He won. They won like 418 million or something like that. And uh, so now he decides he's gonna start his own website. After winning a landmark case against real estate agents, this startup aims to replace them with a flat fee. This is off a site called TechCrunch. Now, here's where it gets kind of funny. Uh, it's a head scratcher and I'm gonna ask you let me know in the comments if you think this is a service that you would use. And I'll make it, I'll, I'll, I'll shrink it. I'll make it kind of simple because it's really simple. And I can't see, there, he's trying to raise seed money now, people to invest. Um, I don't know where he's going to get that when you hear this business model. So first of all, he's saying that you as a buyer, you're not going to have to pay a buyer broker commission just in case the seller's not offering one, which by the way, right now they still are. Uh, but let's say that none of them are okay. So now you got this flat fee service and this flat fee service is basically saying that they're going to charge you $49 per house to view payable up front up to six homes. I think is or I mean, you can keep paying 49 bucks till the cows come home, but it's, it's $49 for each, for each home. And guess what? He's not a brokerage. Who's he got to use? Real estate agents. The same ones he was suing. So this program goes nowhere without me. So am I going to show a home for $49? So here's, let's talk about just that 49 bucks for a minute. And then we're going to talk about some of the other details in here. 49 bucks. Okay. What's his cut? I mean, he's not if he's charging you a buyer 49 bucks, he's got to have a cut. So maybe he makes 30% of that. And then he has to pay the broker and then the broker pays the agent. So I'll bet you the agent's only walking away with about $25. I'm not showing a house for 25 bucks. I'm not starting a car for 25 bucks. But you as a buyer, you don't even know what agent you're going to get. You're going to pay the $49 to go look at a house and you've booked three houses, maybe three different days, you're going to get three different agents. If that's even if they can find agents willing to pony up and say, yeah, I want to be a part of this great program. Now, I think some will, because I don't think they're going to give you any documents that say that, you know, that you're, when you meet this client, you can't say, hey, want me to help you find other homes. So maybe agents will use this wonderful website as a lead source. You know, go out and show you the house. You don't like it. Well, let me help you. And so what they're offering is uh, here's your traditional package. Here's land in exclusive pay at closing price per t per tour. Forty nine dollars. They charge you one hundred ninety nine dollars to write an offer and you pay that at close of escrow or. And so the total is seventeen hundred and ninety nine dollars. So you're saving, according to them, thirteen thousand dollars. But I don't get that because. How many homes are you going to, let's say you look at five homes and so five times 50, 250 bucks. Then there's another 199 here, say 200 bucks. So 250, so $450, but then they're charging you a package price of 1799. I don't know how that math works out or you can pay up front 49 bucks, $199 total paid by buyer, $643. Well, what kind of representation are you going to get? Because that real estate agent, they, they aren't even saying whether or not they enter into an agency agreement with you. Is an agent go, really going to work and prepare your documents and put their brokerage at risk? Because there's a lot of risk in writing offers for 199 bucks. Again, what broker is going to allow their agents to touch this? Nobody. Now, Redfin, they used to pay their agents 50 bucks to show homes. And they lost their shirt. I watched a Redfin person. They don't do this anymore, but I was in an open house. 
and this lady showed up with red fin and uh t-shirt on and blue jeans with a big hole in it and i said i can I help you she goes, i'm with red fin i'm meeting some clients here i go oh okay well make yourself at home i got some water over here and and so the clients walk in she goes hi uh welcome she goes uh the bedrooms are upstairs she just pointed them up there and they looked around she didn't know anything about the neighborhood nothing about the town home and she thanked them profusely for coming by and they they left i talked to them just a little bit because i wasn't going to mess up with her business i said ah, where are you from good well thanks for stopping by at the open house and off they went and they um left their phone number for me or no they took one of my business cards they didn't take hers and about a week later they called me and wanted to know the status of that townhome and i said well it's under contract they were furious they said how come that listing that agent didn't tell us that i said well she was a showing agent she gets 50 bucks for unlocking the door and pointing to the upstairs. That's the level of service you're going to get with a place like Landian. She was making 50 bucks. How much service do you think you're going to get for $25? So this is very interesting to see how well, the, how long this lasts. But I just find it so ironic that the guy that's been suing realtors for four and a half years and just paints us in a bad light and wants to make us out as the evil people that are charging everybody too much home buyers beware oh but now that i've won some money in the lawsuit hey agents i could i could use your help here <laughs> i don't know take a look at that it's landian l-a-n-d-i-a-n dot com it's landian dot co not dot com but check out the site and tell me what you think and tell me in the comments does this look like something that you would use? Because I'm, I'm thinking probably not. I won't be there. Hey, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick, rickhelps.com. Take care.